All right, we're 12 hours into it. You can see the rag is saturated from the leaky head gasket, so I lost pretty much what, at least half of what's in the head. Engine is sitting at a slight angle. Fluid's very dark in there. I can't even get light to shine through it now. So it's definitely doing something. All right, we'll continue to let it sit. All right, we're at the 24 hour mark. Pitch black. We're gonna let it ride till morning. Why are we letting it ride till morning? Cause I'm one tired mofo so it'll have been soaking for 36 hours then right essentially so we'll get out here tomorrow before the heat sets in roll this thing out into the driveway drain the contents into a bucket um maybe you can use a paint filter to catch the majority of the fluid and see what kind of sediment we get and uh, then we'll rinse the thing out with a hose and pull the head Hang on a minute. Man, can you guys hear those cicadas? Crazy. All right. This morning we're gonna drain the, uh, the uh, vapor rust into a bucket. See how it looks. Take the plate off and uh, just run some water through here, rinse it out the best we can. Let's get started. Okay, I don't know about you, but that looks a lot better uh, inside than when we started. So I had this chemical soaking for about 36 hours. There's still some rust on there, and it's definitely going to flash rust uh, as it dries. But I think I got a good flush, got a good cleaning out of it. I mean, much better than it was. Um, I don't have a light to shine way the hell back in there, but... Pretty confident if it looks this good on this end, it's probably not as bad on the back side either. All right, let's pull the head.
engine lift, oil filter bracket. I also marked it on my box. These two bolts are for the lift in sequence. Uh, same thing with the oil bracket, okay? Keep everything marked as you go. Aside from some common uh, carbon deposits, I mean, this stuff doesn't look too, it doesn't look half bad at all. Yeah, the water jackets look a lot cleaner. There is some stuff in there, but not bad. Now, what's interesting is I can still see the honing marks inside the cylinders. There are some up and down movements, but you can still see the swirl marks from when it was honed, at least in this one you can, in this one, this one. So, yeah, this motor might be in good shape, and these valves don't look bad. Uh, the seats look pretty good. But, yeah, cool. All right, I just put oil in there to help keep them cylinders lubricated while I'm screwing around with this motor because I uh, I don't like it when things rust on me well I think the evapor rust uh, did what I wanted it to do I mean, that looks pretty damn clean in there. And the uh, head came off without a problem. You know, there's there's some obvious uh, wear and tear on the motor, but, dude, the seats on the valves look good. The uh, I can still see honing marks in the cylinders. So I'm going to clean this up, put a fresh head gasket on it. We'll put a, uh, we'll get a uh, straight edge on that head just to check for flatness. But other than that, I'm feeling pretty good. Thanks for watching.